Hi, good evening everyone. So in this video, I'm going to tell about uh, one important report which we generally didn't come across. Let me show you that report. How does it work? So the report is like uh, the business requirement. They want to see the list of purchase orders which don't have the inbound delivery. Okay. Generally, we use ME2N or ME80FN and all for tracking goods received, invoice received and all. But you wouldn't have come to this kind of requirement or if you come across that kind of requirement that business wanted to have the list of purchase orders which don't have any inbound delivery, which report you need to use it. Normally, table-wise, we know this um, EKES. EKES table stores the purchase orders which have the confirmation, which inbound delivery details are available. So EKPO will have all items and EKES will have only vendor confirmations. EKPO minus EKES equal to the, the list of purchase orders which don't have the inbound delivery. So, but if you want to have a standard report, yes, there is a standard report. The transaction is ME2A. So this is the monitor supplier information. And if you know the purchasing organization, you can give. And confirmation category, you can select which confirmation category you wanted to verify. So our purpose is to inbound delivery, so LA. And uh, document date. So only confirmation category is mandatory. I gave the date range, otherwise it will take time. And in real time, when you're checking that one, of course you have to pass the purchasing organization and even PO document type. So for the filtration. So if you execute it, you will get the list of purchase orders which don't have the inbound delivery. So for example, how can you confirm? Just double click on the purchase order number. It will take you to the ME23N, see here, confirmation is blank. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to create inbound delivery, against purchase order. So 100 quantity, save it. So inbound delivery is created, slash in ME23N, See here, LA, inbound delivery 136 is created for 100 quantity. Now we are going to run the report. It's 490020 should not be visible in the report. LA, document date, execute. See here, earlier you have seen 20, 21, 22. Now only 21, 22 is visible. 20 is not visible. So this is about this report. Uh, this one will be helpful for you to monitor the confirmations. So if the business is asking that one, they are using, for example, automatic inbound delivery through ASM, and what are the purchase orders which don't have the inbound deliveries, then you can show it. And also this is at the item level. So system will show you the each item which don't have the inbound delivery. I hope this video will be helpful for your business requirement. If you like the video, you can share it with your friends. And uh, this video is made on S4 HANA. You can use in S4 HANA 2020, any version, whatever you're using, uh, this will work. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.